And as Kath mentioned, joining us now is Steve's very f a proud father, Bill. Uh, Bill, welcome. Steve says hi, and he looks forward to catching <laughs> up for a beer. Yeah, it would be a down good idea, I reckon. Yeah. Your son, he never ceases to amaze, does he? No, he's, um, he's developed into a pretty reasonable athlete these days. Mm, it was an impressive performance indeed. The competition, though, as we alluded to, wasn't as fierce as what it sometimes is for Steve, but he really had to get himself up mentally as well, didn't he? Well, I think there's probably, in one way, more, more pressure on him at, at this meet because he was so much the favourite uh, that... Um, and you can easily know height in a pole vault, mm. and um, if that had happened, it would have been very embarrassing. But. He is a wonderful athlete, but really it's no surprise given his parents. Your wife Erica won a silver medal in the long jump of the 78 games, also competed at the Olympics while you competed in the 400 and the 874 in Christchurch. From a very early age, I imagine he was very sports focused? Yeah, he was into, uh, into team sports a lot when he was growing up, mm. and, um, but then got into, uh, got into athletics um, of th uh, basically at the end of primary school. And when did it become clear that pole vaulting would be his specialty? Uh, he came home one day from Little Athletics and said that the, um, the local people at the Box Hill Athletic Club were having trials for the pole vault the next week and he was going to have a crack and came home the weekend after that and said he was in the, uh, in the squad. Um, that, was, that was about where it started. Do you remember what he first jumped and how old he was? Oh, um, no, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> something right. ridiculously low. You're right. <laughs> he was, he was um, 14. 14 when he started. Right. Bill, you mentioned team sports, and I know he's a big fan of the mighty Carlton Football Club, yeah. best football club around. Uh, he would have been a great player. Juddy to Steve Hooker, goal, sounds fantastic. Was uh, that a dream? Oh, I think um, you know, there was a lot of backyard uh, football went on at the, at the, at, in, in, our, in our house. Yeah. Um, I think most kids who were brought up, brought up in Melbourne who would have the dream of uh, running onto the G at some stage in their, in their career, and he, he did it with a singlet on instead of a footy jumper. He did too. What a buzz that would have been in 2006. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was fantastic. It's great to be there. Back on to pole vaulting now. Um, the world record, which we've been speaking about, Sergei Bulka's 6.14, he's now saying that Steve is the man to smash that. How confident are you that this could happen? Smash is probably not the word I'd use. Mm. Um, just getting over a centimetre would do. Uh, Steve said to me... Um, Back in 2005, I think, he said he thinks he could break the world record. And uh, that's, um, that's certainly a possibility now. I think some of the things that he's, he's doing, uh, some of the stuff that he's done in training recent, well, early on this year, and then uh, his world indoors this year were pretty impressive. So um, it's not going to be easy, but um, hopefully you can get there. Mm. Bill, how does it compare you competed for Australia at the Commonwealth Games in 1974 in Christchurch to watching your son compete for Australia. Hell of a lot more stressful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, you know, competing, when you're competing yourself, you're in control, so you, you, can, you can look after yourself. And, and I was a runner, so mm. I never know height in, a, in an event. I always mm. managed to finish. Mm. And um, it was just um, pretty stressful when you sit there watching him and yeah, it's, it's not a it's a dangerous sport mm. um, and you can sort of embarrass yourself with uh, going out without scoring a height mm. so um, it's pretty uh, the big tension every always is that he clears a height mm. get that on then he's in the competition it's game on and uh, usually it's pretty much pretty good fun from then on so finally Bill I've got to ask was there much sleep in the hooker household last night couple of hours. Um, <laughs> hasn't been a lot since the game started, actually, or since the track and field started, the main event. Um, but um, hasn't been a lot since then, but uh, hopefully after tonight uh, there'll be a few early nights. Well, Bill, we really appreciate your time this morning, and no doubt yourself and your wife, Erica, you know, goes without saying, you've played a huge role in Steve's success. We thank you for your time this morning, and again, congratulations. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Kat. Thank you, Bill. It has been a